proceed to San Francisco as the Republican National Convention opens with Chairman Joe Martin very much in evidence as he greets early arrivals. There is a festive atmosphere as the faithful gather under the banner of their leader. The fair sex loses no time in expressing its preference by setting a new style note. From all parts of the country, they climb on the Ike bandwagon, particularly California, the host state. Vice President Nixon, Governor Knight, and Senator Nolan, all Californians gather for an informal chat, the results of which seem to please the Vice President. The convention is held at the huge Cow Palace, which is capable of seating 17,000 persons. It is here that Washington's Governor Arthur Langley sets the campaign tone in his keynote address. So the answer to the plaintive question that hovered over the Chicago arena, along with the ghosts of the past, is simple. The American people will, I believe and hope, throw the Republicans out of office the day when, if ever, they copy the Democrats and put the party first and America second. 